According to the U.S. Coast Guard and Terrebonne Parish officials, salvage operations are now complete and no human remains were found once the vessel's parts were on land. News 10's Neil Zarang shares what other discoveries he made. I've spoken with members of the NTSB, Coast Guard, Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office, and more. From what I've been told, salvage operations concluded months ago with no more work anticipated to recover what parts are still left of the vessel buried in the Gulf. According to the National Transportation and Safety Bureau, investigators conducted a thorough examination of the salvage sections of the C-Corp hour hull, superstructure, legs, and equipment, but that's not every part of the ship. The U.S. Coast Guard confirmed Hurricane Ida altered Seacor Marine's salvage plan. They had cut the Seacor into several pieces, three pieces, I believe. They had gotten two of those sections out of there, uh, but my understanding is that the third section uh, did get buried by sediment, uh, mud sediment, uh, after the passing Hurricane Ida. Uh, and then at some point, Seacor Marine decided to suspend salvage operations. Kale Fly previously reported in a family meeting with Seacor and salvager Don John, those three main pieces were the bow, the stern, and the accommodations. So the remaining piece would be sort of the living quarters area? That's, that's also my understanding of it, yes. When questioned on why leave the living quarters buried in the Gulf, the NTSB said in part, there is no statutory or regulatory requirement for a company to salvage a vessel specifically to support an NTSB investigation. Salvage is sometimes not feasible, and the lack of a salvage vessel does not prevent the NTSB from completing a comprehensive investigation and determining the probable cause. Coast Guard explained. From a Coast Guard standpoint, the uh, whatever remains of the Sea Corps power uh, out there in the Gulf uh, did not, did not, does not pose a threat to the environment or to the safety of navigation for vessels transiting that area. Both the Coast Guard and NTSB pointed us to the lift boat owner, Sea Corps, for further details on why the search was suspended. We have made attempts but have not received a response as of this time. Coming up, whatever happened to the calls for a congressional hearing? Plus, a live interview with Scott Daspit and Christopher Darwin looking back on the past year. But now a look back at search efforts for the missing crew.